So today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint a teddy bear with a hat. Okay, let's take a look at uh, where we're going to place it. Let's see, we're going to put the whole teddy bear. How about here? Like this. And I'm going to print it. This is the top of the teddy bear. I don't want to get it all the way to the top of the page. Like that. And the E over here, maybe this is the head. The head is right over here. And then the neck and the body over here. And then this is the uh, leg on this side. And this is the end. This is the arm. Like this. That looks good, right? It's simple. And now this is teddy bear's tummy. And of the white shape on the tummy. And then there's another arm on the other side. Let's say maybe like this leg coming over here. Like that. A little bit higher than this one. That looks good. Now I'm going we are going to see, I'm going to have the ear up over here, like that. And then I'm going to see what are the eyes, the eye over here. Just put a little location, a little circle over here first. Okay. And then come back to redraw it a little bit later. Okay. Now this is the nose, like the teddy bear looking at you is a Am I cute? That's good. Now I'm going to put a hat here. Like that. And then, here you go. Have a little white shape. And then coming up like this. And then a part of it hanging down. Say so even have a little white bar at the end over here. Like that, it looks pretty cute. And I'm going to set the lighting. I'm going to say, I'm going to have the lighting coming from where? I'm going to have the lighting coming from this direction. So I'm going to have a little bit more shadow on this side of the face. And I'm going to have a little bit of shadow over here. I'm going to have this side to a little bit of shadow. Okay, like that. And then have a little shadow on this side. Like this. Okay, this is good. This is a very good planning. Now I'm going to erase some of the line. I'm going to draw a little bit more. Um, confirm line. And then we're going to do watercolor painting. Okay. Always draw lightly first. Before we come, before we come back to do a little bit more defined drawing. Okay. That's good. Now I'm going to come back over here, take a look at the ear. And I'm going to have a little fluffy uh, hair feeling when I paint it with watercolor. Like that. See, that's good. And the nose looks fine. And the eye over here, that looks good. I'm going to give a little bit light shape at the corner over here. A little light shape, like that. Like a looking up. A very cute little teddy bear. Okay. And then there on the arm right over here and I have some shadow so I can show it. There's the arm over here separated. That's good. And if you like, you can replay this video and draw with me step by step. You can draw and paint your own teddy bear. 
That's nice. Now coming on this side. There you go. This leg. Now the a little white shaped tummy. And that's the neck connected the top over here. Like that. And I'm going to make the white ball a little bit bigger. And even hiding on the other side. That's nice. I'm going to have this. That's nice. And then showing a little bit of the arm, the other arm on the other side. Like that. That looks good. And you can write anything you want to write over here. I'm going to leave it blank. You can use a custom message, this space. Okay, I think this looks good enough. I'm going to take a picture of this, upload it, so you can draw with my drawing if you need to. Then I'm going to start doing a painting. I'm going to use this large size click of brush. You can use any brush you want. And that's okay. Now, what's the first color I'm going to put in on? I'm going to mix a little brown color. So how to mix the brown color? The yellow color, right? And some red color. And the blue color. And that's it. And then you can make, mix the brown color. If I want it to be a little bit more red, I'm going to get a little bit more red over here. Okay. And I want a little bit more yellow and get a little bit more yellow color. And that's it. That's very good brown color for the teddy bear. Okay. I'm going to push the hair down a little bit like this and have a little bit more like a fan shape. Now, here you go. I'm going to have it like this. That's how I make it look like a fluffy feeling of the teddy bear. I'm going to leave the white shape inside the eye. So I'm not cover totally like that. And the nose is also a little bit darker um, than this color of the hair. So I'm going to keep it like that. It's relax and have fun. And so it's just going to tap, 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 tap like that simple. Okay, just make it look like, oh, it's the fluffy here. Okay, that's good. On the other side. Okay, like that. I'm going to do a little bit more texture. Just draw it like this. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker color. So I'm going to come back to mix a little bit more. Just get a little bit more colors and less water. And you can make it look more darker, the darker brown color, like this. That's good. Now I'm going to cover it on the bottom over here. That's the shadow. So I'm going to have this side a little bit more shadow. Like that. That's good. And inside the E over here, I just use a portion of my brush like this. So because the light coming from this direction, so this side is a little bit more shadow. Now we talk about shadow now. Okay, now have a little bit texture, a little bit more texture. Now on the bottom over here, have the little bit shadow. Now that's good. On the other side, um, on this side, I also have a little bit shadow. So I'm going to have the soft texture. Now on this side, also I have some shadow over here. So you don't really need to have a really sharp and beautiful brush in order to do watercolor. It depends on what you need, right? Sometimes you need something like a, a very look like a bad shape. That's good. Now I'm going to have some even darker color. Now I'm going to use a little bit water, make my brush a little bit sharper now. 
Now what I want, I'm going to have this even darker color, a lot more blue, right? That's good. Get a little bit yellow. Now this is a pretty dark color. Now I'm going to come back over here and suggest it right under here. It's much darker. It's showing their uh, shadow and a little bit shadow on this side. A little bit darker color over here. You can see the dark color, light color composed together to make it look, make it look like a shadow on the light side and also look like three dimensional. Okay, I'm going to put a few line over here. I'm going to put a little bit shadow over here too. If there's too much, I can come back to uh, organize a little bit and have a little dark color over here too. And that looks good. Now I'm going to have a little bit on here too. Make it a little bit darker like that. And I'm going to clean my brush and just come back over here. Remove all the water. Now I'm going to have it soften a little bit. If there is too much, you can soften it. Right? It's pretty easy. I'm going to make this a little bit softer like that. That's good. Okay. Okay, over here, I'm going to soften this, make it a little bit lighter, just like that. Okay, now before I come back to um, do the eye, and I'm let's do some colors for the top over here. And what color I'm going to do, we first make a little bit, um, a little bit light gray color first, and have a little bit shadow on this side. See that? Have a little bit shadow. That's good. And I'll have some shadow over here too. Like on this side is the shadow. I have some cast shadow. This arm blocking some of the light. I'm gonna have some dot like this. Show a little bit of fluffy feeling of this. Oh, that's good. And now also looking at this white ball, like that. That looks good. And I'm going to have a little bit darker color, a little bit darker, like that. And just separate this. That's good. That's good enough. So what I want to do now, I'm going to have a little gray color. This is pretty gray. The gray color, I'm going to have the cast shadow on the ground or on the table. Okay, like that. That looks good. Right? Okay, now I'm going to use the clean brush that has let go of the water. I'm going to make this a little bit softer. You see that? The water, you can blend the color together. Okay, looks nice. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to have a little bit blue color, just the blue color. You see that? Just the blue color. I'm going to put it over here. That's good. Now I'm going to paint it onto the top of the head right here. Okay. On the other side, I'm going to make it even darker, a little bit darker like this. Okay. Even have a little bit brown color mixed together. Okay, I know these two color may mix together, but it's okay. I can come back to make it some separation a little bit later, like this. And I'm going to come back to give it a little bit more separation after. Now what I want to do, now I'm going to give it some even darker color, like at this area. Those need some darker separation. I'm going to get the blue color. Put it over here. I'm going to have the red color. You see that there's two color together. Like a one is as warm, one is as cool. There's two color mixed together and make a very dark color. Let's see. I'm going to mix a little bit dark color over here. That's good. A little dark color over here and a little dark color over here. There's only a few places that has a really dark colors. Like that. And the bottom over here, I can have a little bit dark color here too. 
Okay, this is good. While I'm having this color, I also going to uh, put it into the nose and then the eyes. Okay, here you go. Like that, almost like a triangle. And I want this color a little bit more red. So I mix a little bit more red color and get a little red color in here. It's very easy to do. Now the color looks good. And now we're looking into the eye. And this brush can be really sharp. So I'm going to make it a better shape. Now I'm going to see the tip of the brush really sharp. Those calligraphy brush. That's good. I'm going to come here. Like that. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to give it a little bit suggestions in the ear. It's just have fun. Okay, it's very important uh, to have fun. And now the teddy bear is almost there. Now just use the water. I'm going to soften a little bit over here because I don't want it to see so much, so much contrast. Okay, like that. And also going to have a little bit more yellow mixed into this color. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit darker on this side because it's shadow. Like that. A little bit over here. A little bit on the arm. Like that. And now I'm going to have this a little bit more orange color. Like this. I'm going to put it in here. So I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. Like that. I also use the brush to lift up a little color so I can see the top over here a little bit lighter. That's good. I like this color a little bit better. I need a little bit more of the yellow and orange color. Like that. Now, I'm going to do the last thing. That is the darker blue colors. I'm going to mix with this. I'm going to first put this color in here so I can separate this part with the top. Like that. And then I'm going to have a little bit lighter colors. I just get a little bit lighter blue, right? Just, just like this. And just by using the water, so I can blend the color coming down like this. Now it looks really good. I'm going to have a little bit separation over here too. So that's it, the teddy bear. That's good. Now the teddy bear is finished. Now this is your turn. Follow the video step by step and you can do the same thing. And also in the comment, please tell me what would you like to paint next?